Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy and today I'm joined by Annie. And we are about to start our long-awaited Screamathon. That's right, the screams. One, two, three, and four. And right now we're popping some popcorn. <laughs> kind of going contemporary without the jiffy pop. But we shall begin. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> the year was 1996. Screenplay writer Kevin Williamson joined up with Wes Craven to create the modern masterpiece, Scream. Opening sequence, ready for it, Drew Barrymore. Time to draw the curtains and start the show. Draw the curtains. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Hello. Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. You're making popcorn? Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Well, just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Someone is playing a deadly game. It all began with the scream over 911. Someone who's seen one too many scary movies. Now he's taken his love of fear. Hello? Hello, Sydney. One step too far. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big breasted girl who can't act, who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a scary movie. Number one, you can never have sex. Hey, what are you doing? This me. Never, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. You get another beer, you want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. He didn't make the rules. The police are always off track. If they watch Palm Night, they save time. He just kills by them. Don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Don't try to hide. Everybody's a suspect! You're not scared, are you? Scream. Okay. First kill is out of the way. And he's already screamed about four or five times. Brilliant beginning. With, of course, the hidden reference, reference to the Mackenzies from Halloween. I want you to go down the stairs and out the front door. And I want you to go down the street to the Mackenzies' house. And I want you to tell them to call the police. Get in the car. Drive down to the Mackenzies. Uh, no, no, my daughter. Let's go. No, my call the police. One of several Halloween references, and some others. Fabulous. Another Halloween reference, of course, would be Don't Fear the Reaper. Um, the song that's playing in the background of the scene right now, it's a, this is a, an acoustic version of Don't Fear the Reaper, which is a song in a famous scene when the girls are driving in Halloween. They play Don't Fear the Reaper. Well, our, our first cameo, Linda Blair, came in and gone, but our second cameo, Henry Winkle, just bit it. Would you call me? Huh? Not your friend. And we're moving on. We're taking a little bit of intermission here to make dinner and get some food. My wife's back, so it's gonna be a trio from here. One, did you remember any of it? Only the garage scene. She's a lot of fun to watch a movie with. Yes. 
So we just finished the first scream, and um, we're gonna be moving on. They're gonna be Annie and Lisa are gonna go take a walk, and um, I'm gonna set things up here for scream. With the success of Scream, many careers were started. Jimmy Kennedy went on to have his own X Factor TV show. Skeet Ulrich went on to do a couple more movies, and so did Matthew Lillard, one of Lisa's personal favorites. And of course, this is the movie, if you follow the Hollywood aspect, this is where Courtney Cox and David Arquette met for the first time, and Wes Craven had a big part in uh, hooking them up as a, uh, a real-life couple. So uh, we'll see what happens in part two. There are Halloween themes and moments cut all the way through Scream. Which makes it a great movie to bookend. If you just want to watch two movies, you can watch Halloween and Scream. You have yourself a great double feature of one night if you are up for it. Yeah. It never gets old. Oh, are you okay? Are you ready for the Scream 2? Was it a good walk, at least? It's a fabulous walk. Oh, good. And the light did not go off on me. I see. That's my trusty light. You're there, you know, there you know, not that one. You're just ah! Ah! Oh, you did not. You have two masks. Oh, that's we horrible. We've actually got four. Uh -huh. They're everywhere, aren't they? They're in the bathroom. I can't go to the bathroom now. Sydney, remember me? What do you want? It's time, girlfriend. Don't you know history repeats itself? Last night, two college students were brutally murdered. Police are everywhere. The girl was stabbed seven times. Ouch! Hi, Gail Weathers, author of The Woodsboro Murders. She's an opportunist. Be kind, she saved our lives. Yeah, I know, I read all about it in the book. I can't wait to see the movie. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? If there is some freaked out psycho, they're probably already in your life. Okay, so you just want to sit here and, and wait to see who drops next? The way I see it, someone's out to make a sequel. So it's our job to observe the rules of the sequel. Number one, the body count is always bigger. <laughs> Number two, the death scenes are always much more elaborate. <laughs> How do we find the killer, Randy? That's what I want to know. Well, let's look at the suspects. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? It's him. He can see us. Do you want to die tonight? Is that the best you can do? Why not set your goals higher, huh? You want to be one of the big boys? Manson? Bundy? OJ? Your favorite scary movie? Showgirls. Absolutely frightening. just finished Scream 2, and uh, excellent, and he was um, a bit spooked during that whole adventure. The beauty about Scream 2 is the uh, censors actually uh, were a little easier on um, Wes Craven and uh, Kevin Williamson this time around. Wes Craven was pretty smart about this. He um, created a uh, version of the movie that he thought would be a little bit harder than the uh, the ratings board we actually liked. It actually was more, much more violence, much more stabbing, the killing scenes were a whole lot longer and much more elaborate and violent and uh, he did that on purpose so that he could cut him back and get the rate uh, get the film he wanted and still get an R rating